beautiful artwork that you just saw now belongs to John. How you going, John? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Now your wagon. Let's just start from the basics. What model, what is it? And then you can tell me all the pretty details. I bought it in 1994. It's a 1964 Chevrolet Biscayne station wagon. Right. Biscayne is the bottom of the three car wagons that were produced that year, Impala, Bel Air, Biscayne. Mm -hmm. I went to a junkyard and I found chrome off of an Impala and I put it on to make it look better than it is. And then it was in black primer when I bought it. And I stripped it down and started redoing it. I never thought I'd come up with the creation that I developed after almost 30 years. But everything I did was for a reason. I drew it all out, I looked at it, colored it with crayons to see what the color would really look like wow. before I went out to the garage and actually did the paint job. Wow, so you've done the paint job yourself? Exactly. So the entire paint job, the pattern, everything Everything you've done yourself. Are you an artist? I would say for the car I'm an artist. Okay. It's not what I did for a living and I never made it professionally. Well, you've definitely got the hand for it. You've definitely got the hand because, I mean, you don't know where to look. With so many, it's, Every, every single part that you look at, it's just it's absolutely beautiful, professionally, it just looks immaculate. How long did it take you? I painted the car in 99 white. It was originally a blue car with a white roof, but when I bought it, it was in black primer. Right. So it didn't take too much to strip it off the bare metal and restart. And I was just going to do red and white. That was my thing. And then I got carried away and I thought, most of the colors on that car are candy paint, yep. which is a translucent color you basically can see through it. You just have different, different toners like candy root beer, candy apple red, candy brandy wine, candy tangerine. Those are all the colors. I have 14 different colors of candy on the wagon itself. Wow. And I just kept going and going. And I just, it was so enjoyable. It was a lot of work. Yeah. It was a lot of hours. It wasn't a, it wasn't a lot of money. At the time, they were, they were phasing out black paint and they were coming up with urethane. So lacquer was very inexpensive to buy at the paint store. And I would buy it for $10 per quart. Wow. Today, I don't even know what a quart would be, $400. <laughs> yeah. It's very expensive. Of course, 100%. So I would, I just drew it all out. And then I thought, this is how I want it to look. Wow. Well, I'm so happy that you did get carried away because look what just came out from it. I know, it really came out nice. It's but it's old, you know, it's over a period. I know you're not doing it. I, I started in 99 and I just finished in, old, in 19 doing more work. I did the bottom part of the, uh, below the chrome I did on the tailgate. The blue, purple flower, yep. the red and black uh, lace. Uh, originally, the that's year right, before oh, that, oh. I did it in candy red, oh, hey, where by the tail lights, that's candy red. Yeah. With around the pink and the gold. All of the yep. top panels, those little like butterfly looking things, they were red. And then I thought, you know what, I want a different color. And the very <laughs> next year, I sanded it, not completely off, just enough to scuff it to, for paint to stick. Wow. And I shot it in a purple, which is a blue purple. Wow. And I, I, I'm but glad I didn't you want, did, because look at how well it looks now. And it I didn't want to change the red, because that brings me back to when I painted it the year before. And I liked how the red looked, but I wanted to John, change why don't you come here and need a car? Uh, so as you're talking, we can actually point out. But the purple you added on, and it's, it's, it just made it pop even more. Mm -hmm. These, um, these panels I had done in, in 2018 right. in a candy red, and they were all the same, all of them all the way around. And for some reason, 2000, the next year, 2019, I wanted to redo everything below here. <laughs> so there were three sections of lace panels. And uh, from then on, it just I, I taped it all off, I painted it all white base, and then I shot the bluish purple to match, and then the uh, the candy apple red, and uh, I just had to tape and mask off different areas, so I was only concentrating on doing the yellow gold. Yeah. I was only concentrating to do the green leaf because yeah. everything was just taped. It was taped down in white, so I just had to do it. So I had already practiced to do a leaf, and if you look at leaves, they have little veins. Yes. And some go all different directions. Yeah. So I just did it. I thought it would look good in green. I just thought purple flower would really look good. What about what about this spot here? That's all lace. That's lace. That you buy from a material store. Yeah. And you apply it, it down there. Right. First yeah. shot shoot. I shoot black over it. Yeah. And so all the little holes are black, and then you pull the lace up. Yeah. And you shoot the rest of it. It's still all masked off from here up and there down. So 
then you shoot whatever color candy over it. Yeah. And the little extra holes that you didn't that didn't provide the black to go through it will be the other color of the paint, which is happens to be red over black. That's beautiful. Which part was the most time consuming? So if we were to look at the entire car. Well, this was easy because I could actually sit in a chair and okay. mask off and do my flames. The problem was it was this wide to begin with and I right. narrowed it down to do the gold around it. So now the flames had to be taped off and the curves have to be perfect. You can't have any breaks in the curves for the flames. They couldn't have, you know, they couldn't look square. This is hand painted. This it's, is all hand painted. It's, it's hand painted. It's candy red and candy blue. Then I shot some purple. And I shot some purple over the blue, and then I shot some red and a little bit of blue here. And I added more metal flake, and that's a little bit of candy red. Uh, the, the stuff on the side was easy to do because I didn't have to really bend over very much. The hard part was the roof. Uh, even though I'm a, I'm a tall person, uh, to do this, you have to be a little bit higher to look down at all of it. So I stood on a toolbox, and I just kept kicking it over, and I did all of these. I taped off all the little squares individually. It took wow. hours, hours and hours wow. and hours. Then I shot it in blue, candy blue. Then I had a little, and then I taped off a little, and then I did a little candy red or candy pink. And this is candy orange, candy red. And then I did this other one. I was trying to build, what, to me, what looked like a serape, a okay. Mexican blanket. Yeah. And to me, they're not all exactly the same color no. on a boat. They do start repeating the pattern, but I was not going to repeat it on my roof. So I did everything a little differently. So I added golds and purples up here with a little bit of blue here. And this is tangerine and pink and blue. And then on the other side, I have root beers and greens and lime greens and golds. So they were all a little different. But it goes and it flows and it, it works. Oh, okay. It works. It absolutely works. And the thing is like, you have to understand, like it's been hand painted. This is not a print. No. This is not something you've just hand painted each curve. And, and I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to hire a pinstriper to tape around the areas that I painted. It would cost me too much money. Yeah. So I taped in between this edge of the red and the gold on both sides. It was only enough for a sixteenth of an inch, but it's just a black border that makes it jump out yeah. because it's just not gold that fades into the red. There's oh, no. a line that makes it draw, and you don't really see it until somebody points it out. Then yeah. you say, "Oh yes, I know what you mean." But look at the fade. Do you see how you've got it faded here? Yes. And then it's also faded here. Yes. It's. I had seen somebody else do it, but they used the same amount of paint when they would do it. And when I taped it off, it's just little curves of tape over there, and I would shoot it, and it would be, I would try to have less paint at the beginning and at the end, and darker as it went into the middle. And that's what's called the fade. It worked, it worked really well. The jingle balls? Oh, yeah, I like I the handmade those. You handmade them. I went to, I went to Michael's The man store. doesn't just paint in this. I went to the Michael's store that had all these little things. They were called pom poms. And yeah, the little girls they are called pom poms. In high school, make them. And I bought the velvet rope and I cut them all the same length and I sewed it, all of them. And I sold it to the original dingo balls that you can buy. But John, you're a very was... skilled man. You got the paintbrush in your hand. You're very artistic, very particular. But the man can sew. I can sew. You can sew. <laughs> yeah, and you made and you sewed this on to the car itself. That's yes. just. And then on the back, there's two sets. This is one set below the original dingle balls. On the back, I did two different lengths. I did these, and then I did the longer ones. And when the windows open, they're blowing in the wind. And it's, I look in the rear view mirror, and I can see them.